Good evening, my old fruits. Are you sure what that means? I've heard it once down south, and I've been down south for the last week or so, and now I'm back up north, and it's nice to be back in Lancaster, and I'm back on top of the landing, where I usually am when I talk to myself. I'm extremely tired, I've just got back from Aikido, and uh, on the Monday, I go to the gymnasium, and then I go to the dojo. That means the little sports hall, and then the, the primary school, basically. But yeah, I do quite a lot of training on a Monday, and uh, I'm pretty tired from it. But I haven't done a normal video. Oh yeah, the thing is, yeah, I'm, hang on, I keep, I, I, yeah, I want to say one thing or another thing. I've done a normal video for a while, I've got my voice back, and it's fantastic. It nearly much, it nearly, I can't even, because I've not had a voice for a while, I can't even get words out. Ha! It nearly completely disappeared the other day, and it was really horrible. And as Wizzy Wignutty Joe 51 said, you're not supposed to talk when you've got that sort of thing going on, it's bad for you. And I was, I was worried and then I got Mario in and he helped me rescue a princess. Don't know what that was about, but yeah, I just wanted, I, I wanted to say so many things, but I can't remember any of them. And when I usually do a video like this, I don't actually say anything of any really importance or any sense at all. But the, the thing that I'm thinking about more and more these days, as I'm sure some of you three regulars are, is this meetup, this gathering. I'm looking at the wall for this gathering, this YouTube gathering, and lots of people have booked their accommodation. There's a picture with us all tagged in it, you know, and there's like 20 odd people, and it's so exciting. It's such a buzz. I can't wait to meet everybody and for everyone to say, You're an idiot, Chuck Norris lookalike. Go and stand in the corner for looking like Kenny Everett. But yeah, it's going to be quite a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I've got no trousers on actually, I'm not going to show you that, I, I took them off, because it's hot, you know, I don't like to wear trousers when I get in. And the other day, um, you know, I went for my grading, didn't I, my second Q grading, but uh, I didn't get it, I didn't make the grade. I said to my instructor the other day, the sort of the Sunday before, like, don't go easy on me, if I don't achieve it, I don't achieve it. So, uh, I did quite well, I did quite a lot of things that I pulled out of the bag that I wasn't aware I could do quite well. I did a lot of rubbish things, a lot of terminology and weapon stuff was a bit sloppy and a bit rubbish, so I've got now till the end of February to cram and do that exam again. But, you'll never guess what happened at training tonight. Go on, guess. Go on. Oh yeah, you're not actually there. Well, you are there, obviously, you're there watching, but you're not at the other side of the phone, are you? You're watching it on a screen. What it was, our club has this little trophy that they give out once a year for the person that's sort of made the most progress, if you like. I don't really know how to word it any better than that. Anyway, I got this beautiful little certificate tonight presented to me, and it says, it's probably backwards, this is to certify that Stuart Grice was voted the Aikidoka, that means person who practices Aikido, if you're, if you're out of the loop, okay? Uh, who made the most progress in 2010-2011, Lancaster Aiki Kwai, signed by my sensei, Stephen Adon. Pride of place, and uh, uh, that, <laughs> that came out of nowhere. He actually said to me, uh, this person, uh, since we decided he was going to achieve this trophy thing, we haven't really seen him since, and he said, and it's for the most, um, it's for the progression. And when they, they called my name out, I said, I put my hand, I said, what, for progressing backwards, because I just, I didn't make the grade. Anyway, um, here it is, the Ted Price Cup. It's quite a big cup as well, and it says on it, uh, the Ted Price Memorial Trophy. Now, Ted Price is one of the founders of our club, Lancaster Aikido Club, that's now been renamed Lancaster Aikido Club. Uh, it was founded 40 years ago, so it's, it's, got, it's been going quite a long time, and uh, the poor chap put a lot of effort into the, the founding of the club, and uh, in his honour, in his memory, this cup gets awarded to one person every year, and we usually do it at the Christmas do, but this year, we kind of forgot um, to get it done in time. And anyway, it came out of nowhere tonight. And it was awarded to me, and I went up there and shook his hand, uh, Steve, the sensei, and it was it was all very nice. And I just thought, oh, well, you know, a nice thing for them to say. But yeah, I definitely think I've been going backwards. In December, I was getting there. I was getting somewhere with it. I was you know, putting a lot of time and effort in. But over the new year, January, and I just it just went out the window a little bit. So now back on it. Uh, Seminar thing coming up on Sunday and just focusing on the chopping tables in half because that's what we do. We line up tables and we chop them in half. Uh, it's a tradition that's uh, it's just been started now. That's what we do from now on. We pile up tables, chop them in half. As my mate Rob at the Glove always says, he says we just line up tables and cut them in half. It's not, there is more to it than that. We, we say ha so really loud when we chop tables in half. 
But anyway, I can't talk about anything like that because it's a secret, um, secret Japanese stuff. And if I tell you, I would have to kill you through the screen. And you wouldn't want that, really, would you? So, yeah, I'm sure I had more to tell you than just Aikido stuff. Because I know you're not interested in that in the slightest. But I am. You know, and it's the only time that I'm kind of... When I'm doing my job and I'm, like, training people, I'm fairly... You know, I'll have a bit of a laugh with customers, but I'm fairly focused and, and not daft. And when I'm doing the Aikido as well, I'm, that's when I'm focused and not daft. So it, it's weird, you know, to, uh, to talk about it with you guys, because I'm always daft from talking to you, aren't I? Yes, I am. Anyway, I don't think I've taken many breaths today, and I think I must be talking, or have been talking about 5 minutes, 42 seconds-ish, like which is far too long, and I'm getting faster and faster as the, time, as the night goes on, and even though I don't know what I'm saying, and I keep tripping over words and trying to say too many things and nothing's coming out, and I'm over, overlapping words with things that don't make any sense, I'm going to go and take some breaths and go to sleep uh, in that order, but I'm going to get a shower first. I'm going to take my... What is this? Just, like, look, listen, shut up, and say goodbye. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Goodbye, everyone. Bye! <laughs>